What y'all know about the Yankee Candle? Put it into the budget then. It's not in the budget no more. It's a little bit more like... Hey, did I cut off my hair? I want to get funky, man, you know? Welcome to the maintenance vlog, you guys. Thank you, Skims, for sponsoring today's video. It won't be a maintenance vlog if you're not comfortable and cozy. So today we are going to be sharing with you guys some of our favorite Skims pieces and collections. A whole bunch of goodies right here, so let's get into it. First things first, we have this soft lounge sleep set. I literally love the soft lounge collection. Honestly, probably one of my favorites. As you can see, Anna's wearing it right here. It is so comfortable. I got a size large in the top and the bottom. There's even a tie in front of the waistband as well. I will never get over how soft this material is. I just need to let y'all know. Next, I'm gonna be sharing with you a little set from the cotton ribbed collection. I have the tank top and the boxer briefs in the color bone. I absolutely love this. Love the material of all these pieces. They're so comfortable. There's so many colors y'all can pick through. I probably have like five or six of these sets. I also have the cotton ribbed tank. Honestly, you can never go wrong with a little gray moment. I also have the leggings. I have never tried these before. And let me tell you, these are so comfortable. I can just picture myself sitting down, reading a book, drinking some hot cocoa. So comfy. Next, I'm kind of matching with the outfit that I'm wearing right now, but I have the viral skims dress right here i love the square neck detail it is so flattering i also want to note that this is tall girl friendly it lands perfectly at my ankles honestly this dress literally hugs you in every right way i do have it in brown and you also have it in black right mm -hmm. again soft lounge material is literally phenomenal and you can do nothing wrong in this dress i want to talk about this bodysuit from the fits everybody collection so this is the color coco and it is so flattering it's a nice dark chocolatey shade i love the high neck i love the long sleeves y'all this bodysuit is probably the most buttery fabric i've ever felt it is so comfortable i got a size medium this is probably my new favorite bodysuit it is the fits everybody bodysuit in coco this and your favorite pair of jeans or pants that'll do it for me it's so flattering as you can see it has that like bound to just snatch you up. I also wanted to show you guys these two bodysuits. I also got this fits everybody bodysuit in espresso. It's a halter and honestly I think halter is so flattering. Okay, and then this is also the fits everybody bodysuit in the color dress. I have a little monochrome moment in the cotton jersey collection which might be one of my favorites as well. To start, I just have this long sleeve, which is perfect for the winter time. It's a basic, it's a staple, you gotta have it in your wardrobe. To match, I have the cotton jersey straight leg pants. I'm literally wearing those pants right now. They're so comfortable. I love the fit, I love the straight leg, I love the shape. Lastly, we have some underwear favorites to show you because you just can't go wrong with some Skims underwear. Also, people are always asking us what underwear we wear with our like leggings or under leg pants like these or whatever skims so we have a couple sets to show you to start i have this fits everybody bra it's a little razorback and it's in the color jasper so buttery soft and then we both have these briefs that match they're seamless they're light and they're so stretchy and you're not going to be able to see these next we have the cotton jersey bras honestly i wear these under my hoodies under t-shirts like they're so comfortable honestly my go-to bra to like go to class and then here are the bottoms for a bit of a high waistedness to it but honestly i love that especially if you're on your period or anything like that it has coverage and it provides a lot of comfort lastly we just want to thank you again skims for sponsoring today's video let's get on to the rest of the maintenance hey you guys first step of this maintenance vlog is to get my hair braided. I hair braided like three weeks ago. I love them so much I wanna get them again. I think I'm gonna get them a little bit more blonder, but I'm getting medium boho knotless braids, and then I get the ends curled. Since I found this braider, I'll put her ad up on the screen. She's quite literally the fastest braider in Minnesota, I swear, because she can do my hair in like under three hours and do it so good. An appointment with her, currently 220 just got off from class so <laughs> i booked it back and now i need to blow up my hair i have no product no oil no conditioner no gel no nothing in my hair so that's what she likes i'm gonna just blow it out real quick and then i also need to eat because i have a chem lecture three hour chem lecture at six and my appointment's at 3 30 bit of a hurry so if you see me pulling on my hair a little bit it's because i got to but if you guys didn't know this, I like evened out 
my hair in like July or August because my front part of my hair was way longer than the back. And although I do still have layers, I just kind of wanted my hair to be a little bit more even. It kind of looked funky, so I even have my hair, so it's actually a little bit shorter than what it used to be compared to last year. Having this protective style also allows my hair to grow, and I did give it some time to breathe, but also it's winter time. I don't want to do my hair. I'm too busy with school. Like, it saves me so much time and also just looks so good, especially when I found this, like, blend of colors that I actually truly like love and looks good on me because I liked my hair to be cooler toned and I feel like this blend of 4, 6, 13, and 27 just gives me exactly what I want. I put some ice on her hand, I let her take it in pants, she wasn't going to plan, I put a shit in the van, she got to move with a friend, but she went back to her man, give a fuck. Put a wagon in the driveway, you know I did When I shoot my shot, it's still go wild Where it's going in Me and love sicko sitting sideways Breaking tense Used to be an anti-social nigga Now I'm making friends I just got a mansion I didn't touch on this a beach front And she bringing four friends I know I hit at least one Got a mile ten and by the pool Honestly, hopefully this is like good enough Whole lot of hair Whole lot of hair I'm gonna eat and head to my appointment um i'll try to record a little bit on my phone but i'm too scared to bring the camera also i wanted to tell you guys on and i got factor which is like a meal prepping company because it's just been super hard Ugh. and i think this is like day three of having it and honestly i quite like it because the meals like aren't bland they have a lot of flavor and it wasn't like too expensive either on and i like split it and i think it's just been so easy my thing is a part of me still feels like the meals aren't big enough but <laughs> they're po following portion sizes and like what we wanted but other than that it's like been really nice to have because i don't have to worry too much about cooking but y'all know me i i um find cooking and baking therapeutic so i actually really enjoy it like i literally made homemade chex mix the other day so good and i'm probably gonna make it again but i have these like apple pie cookies that i want to make for thanksgiving so we'll see but i've been recently loving cooking but anyways that's so sidetracked i'm gonna go eat one of my factor meals and then go cause... here is my video Got colors 4, 27, and 613, medium boho knotless. And I also did get the ends to be curled. But I'm so glad my hair is done. It's just too easy. I don't have to worry about it. And I also found some cute hairstyles that I want to try. And one of which I tried yesterday, which was so cute. On as a nail appointment. I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow to get my nails done. This is what mine look like. To be honest, I could wait another week. But the polish is like coming off and it just kind of doesn't look cute. And I know I won't really have time next week since it's Thanksgiving. So yeah, I have a little idea for what I want to do, but I think I'm going to get mine done tomorrow. Anna, we'll talk to you later. Let's go get our nails done. I normally wait every three weeks. I want to say kind of busted if you can't tell like they just get kind of chippy and like they catch at the new growth they like get caught up in my hair and I don't know that's how I know it's time but first we're gonna go get some coffee and support some small businesses during during this time because we don't play with you know who no more Let's go, let's go, Domingo. Let's go. Let's go. Take. Let's go. Set. Let's roll. Straining. 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 Yeah. Straining. 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 Yeah. Don't not get straining, but straining. Don't not get straining, but straining. Don't not get straining, but straining. You don't get shit straight, you straining. In this gang, sit back, be patient. Niggas act like the gang went vacant. Niggas act like the sun been taken. Ain't nothing but a little bit of straining. Big kicking shit popping out daily. On the house, you don't make it. Okay, so I just got back from the nail salon and these are the nails. I, I get it every time, like y'all know the drill, it's gonna be something neutral. But I felt like this was a little bit more like wintery, festive-y because it's like pearls, white, snowflakes, I don't know. Feel me, feel me. Um, 
running a little bit late because I literally still have to blow up my hair, which means I need to wash my hair because I haven't washed it in a week. And then, yeah. So I don't know what I was thinking doing that. I should have washed my hair last night. And then, and I'm not going to show you guys me blowing out my hair, I don't think. Maybe I'll, I'm going to film it for short form content, but I don't think I'm going to do it for long form because... Lexi already showed you guys that, and I'm kind of in a rush, but I will catch you guys when I'm just about to leave or when I get back. I've had these braids for about a week and a half, and my thing with them is, I don't know what's different, but I literally think I had like an allergic reaction after like day three, I think. I started getting these red bumps all over my head. Either that or I think they're called tension bumps maybe that's not even an allergic reaction but i had tension bumps like really bad just from like the tension of the braids and i just have like them all over my scalp and i just think honestly it would be better for me to take these out top it doesn't pick it up on camera but it is so frizzy like what my hair looks like right now is what the last braids i had in for literally a month look like who's here oh honestly these are probably one of my favorite um, braids to get. I also kind of messed up because I tried to recurl the ends and it, it just looks really scraggly. I might give my hair a little break because I've been getting braids like back to back for a few months now since July so I might give my hair a little break. I also need a haircut so. Also the build up on my braids right now is just honestly insane. It's weird because I feel bad because I literally like the last time you guys saw me I just got these and I just got my nails done which by the way I got a little bow on my middle finger, which is so cute. Just French tip, French tip supremacy. My thing is, I just have to take these out. Story time, because if you guys can't see, I clearly don't have braids right now. And pretty much while we take out Lexi's braids, I'm gonna explain to you what happened to mine with some pictures for context. Pretty much the hair that I got, I got from Ebony online and I got color four and I got 52 inch French curl hair. If you guys don't know, French curl hair is like already pre-curled. We ran into the issue where once we got done, we realized that we couldn't dip the hair without potentially wrecking the curls, which was kind of a big issue because that's how you pretty much see at the bottom of the hair. And then also, I'll insert a picture of my hair. It was too long for us to try a different option like hair glue or something like that because my hair, ends of my hair met at the beginning of the curl. And I'll show you a picture of like what I kind of meant because you can see my natural hair throughout the curl because I only did one solid color. And my, my hair was a lot lighter than I thought it was to begin with anyways. And so I kind of posted about how like after a single day, my hair started to unbraid. Like, it was just not holding. My natural hair was slipping out. Pretty much, the protective style was no longer protected anymore. I talked to my stylist, and we were like, yeah, we just need to take it out. She kind of had a hunch when she was working with the hair because she had never, A, done the style before, and B, used the hair that I used. And she's very particular about the hair, so she was like, girl, don't ever bring me that shit again. <laughs> Honestly, I was only trying to make the hair last for like two weeks, so I didn't really think that was like that long of a time. It's gonna depend on how well you take care of the hair, so I kind of like figured in my head that like it was really up to me. But at the end of the day, um, the hair had other plans, so Lexi and I took it out, and I just got busy with school and finals. Like, I just don't know what my schedule looks like, and I don't want to plan to A, pay that money again, and B, plan that time again when I don't really know what that week is looking like so I did not end up getting braids and <laughs> the curls were cute like the French curl did give it's just like I think you the color four was because honestly depending on the brand I feel like I've gotten a color four from one brand and I've gotten a color four from another and they're not the same color um so also I think that one was really dark because like for my hair right now I have the color four 27 and 613 but I had this exact same color and style last time and the last style I had was definitely lighter going forward I think you should try this style I definitely could but I just I like know, curling the end. I spent that money and I spent that time and I just, 
I've worked it into the budget then. It's not in the budget no more because that's what I know. I should have timed how long this took us. Last time Arn and I took out, we literally were about what we were doing. We were, we about were to like going to go out and I realized like I could not go out with my hair looking like that. Like the braids were not staying and I just, I could have tied rubber bands around all of them but Lex and I literally only had like three and so that literally wasn't going to work and so I was like, we just got to take them out. So we took them out literally in like 45 minutes. Not even. Not even. like 30. It, yeah. That I, was, it was, it was quick. quick. I know, I know, I know that you're drunk yeah. Tell me what you want after this club Sony just gifted us this camera. It is a Sony ZV E2. And if you guys didn't know, the first vlog camera we ever invested in was the Sony ZV E1. So this is number two. We're gonna see how recording with this is. I do like how lightweight this is, but I do think I prefer like the quality of the other Sony camera we have. But anyways, I actually decided to schedule a brow appointment because I haven't had my brows done since before Halloween. And it's literally like now December, so. I got an appointment with my girl Matisse. I literally messaged her yesterday, which is like, she has like some openings or people cancel. So I love that I did because now I can get my brows done. So we're about to go. The Uber is like a minute away. So let's head out. First off, we're gonna set the mood. I'm gonna light this mini Frenchie candle. It smells so good. It's like cashmere and vanilla. It's what my sheets smell like too. I'm also gonna light another one in my room. Oh. Candles are lit. The vibe is set. I honestly would play jazz, but I don't wanna get copyright. So <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. Somebody got me sick. Okay, people are coughing and sneezing in class. I don't know how to cover their mouths. Regardless, we're breathing the same air. I'm gonna be doing some maintenance that I like to do honestly weekly and bi-weekly. I recently just got my brows done, so I don't have to do that. Getting my eyebrows laminated and tinted. I don't know what it is. It's also how you can tell on and I apart, but I just like my eyebrows darker and I also love the look of lamination. Especially when you go on like vacations and stuff, you really don't gotta worry about doing your brows. I'm just going to be doing a little bit of derma bleeding, which technically you really should go to an esthetician. So like don't listen to like what I'm saying, but it's like essentially where you kind of just like shave your face in a way, I think. Um, but I only do certain spots. And I just like to do it because I think that my skincare lays better, my makeup lays better, and I just like the look of it. Also, I'm just going to be doing an eye mask, lip mask, face mask. Let's get into it. As of recently, I have been also oiling my scalp and using a lot of deep conditioner masks because my hair has just been so dry. I honestly think from the braid, I'm going to do while I'm doing my skincare is I'm going to oil my scalp and just let that sit. I have this little hair um, massager thing I got in PR. These are the two oils that I use. I just got this one the other day and it smells so good. So I'm gonna be using this one on my scalp, mixing it with a rosemary oil for hair growth. And I'm going to massage it into my scalp to stimulate that growth. You consistently dye your hair I would really make sure that your hair is getting moisturized because honestly that can make your hair so dry. Rake this in my hair. This one doesn't have like a droplet thingy like the Meow, so do with what you wish. I love the Meow hair oil. I literally have gone through probably well over 10 bottles of this. <sighs> 
Y'all, I hate being sick and like having to continue like like going to school, going to the gym because I just feel like everything I do is like 10 times worse. Like going to the gym while being sick is like the worst. Okay, literally this battery is at 4%, but I have the other one charging, so we'll see how long this lasts. I've been massaging my scalp. It's been almost like 10 minutes later. I've kind of just been like raking this through my hair and kind of like massaging the oil. I am going to now just let this sit i'm gonna wash my hands because y'all do not be touching your face after you mess with your hair all the oils the product that should not be going on your face so please make sure to wash your hands after you do any hair care if you don't want to oil your scalp i recommend doing like a hair mask too like these are the two hair masks that i've been using this is the briogeo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask and then this is the Rizos curl and C hair repair mask which my hair literally loves this like half this is already gone already. okay so i have these um eye masks she sleep and I think I just got this oh it's cold I'm just gonna let these sit on my face I think it said for like 10 minutes I have some things that I need to edit and I'm studying for chem currently right now this test determines whether or not I pass the class so gotta love that this Laneige one or this road one I'm gonna put on both Perfect. So I'm going to let this sit for a little bit, for about 10 minutes, and I will get y'all back when I'm going to take this. Okay, so this one's kind of falling down, but it's been about 10 minutes, so I'm going to peel these off. Honestly, these are so relaxing to have on, and I have on the top of my eyes, I'm going to put a little bit of castor oil. I got this from my brow lady, and it had castor oil in it, and now I just kind of like refill it because I like that applicator. Spoolie brush, this, and I use this day and night. Next thing I'm going to go into is I'm going to go into this Super Green Detox Mask next because I kind of want to do my skincare after all. My skin has all this nutrients in it. Ooh. Why are face masks like this? I feel like this is illegal. <laughs> what the? <laughs> this does not feel right. I like sheet masks because I feel like they're honestly a little less messy. Or like the peel off ones, but I don't have any. Ooh, she's giving glowy. I have a really big cystic acne scar that I'm trying to like get rid of too so the brightening detox mask was like honestly a perfect pick next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna honestly like just quickly shave the little mustache hairs mine don't get too dark I honestly sometimes do like right here as well Apply a little bit of oil I do not like to do this on dry skin So that was literally it for the dermaplaning. Honestly, I could have just waxed that. Like, I would normally do a few other things. I wipe my teeth, but I wiped my teeth yesterday, so I'm not going to today because I like to do that every other day. My teeth are really sensitive, so I kind of like hold off on doing that too often. I think that's all for now. Y'all kind of like know the basis of what we get done. Yeah, get it on Endeavor making dinner. It's probably almost done soon, and they'll probably see you soon. Y'all just saw Lexi do her little at-home maintenance routine, and now I'm going to do mine. And I'm so excited. I love this process. It is just so relaxing, like, just doing it and being a girl, saving money, feel good, look good, know that I'm not going to have to worry about certain things because I'm doing it now. Let's get into it. So I'm going to do the same thing as Lexi. I'm going to light a little sugar cookie candle because it is the season. This one crackles a little bit. I love a good candle. I like this when I'm doing my everything shower or when I'm just going to be in the bathroom doing some things for a while. So I'm going to let this sit off to the side. Girl, I don't got hoops in. Anyway, y'all, a little rundown. I think Lexi and I are actually pretty similar, except she gets her eyebrows laminated and I don't. So we're actually going to go through the process of plucking my brows a lot of people always say they can tell the difference between lexi and i by our eyebrows and i don't know this is just how my eyebrows have always kind of grown in i've done anything i'm kind of scared to do something because i feel like my eyebrows really aren't a prominent feature on my face i feel like lexi's more so are I feel comfortable tinting and dyeing them at home and i feel like it looks fine so 
that's what I'm gonna do as well as just some extra skincare. I don't dermaplane my whole face. I do do my kind of like sideburn area and then like kind of like above my eyebrow just because I tend to get more like peach fuzz there. Oh well, my scalp, eye mask, face mask, and that's normally what I do for my at home maintenance. Yeah. I also got me on a little comfy set. It is from Skims. These are the soft lounge like PJs and straight leg pants. They're like literally like really so flowy. I just love them for like lounging in. Actually, you know what? Instead of doing a face mask, I'm gonna do some light therapy. So let me add that in. And then I think I'm just gonna wind down, relax, put some PJs on, make some tea, and watch a show. I think that's kind of like the vibe for tonight. Lex and I have been watching and loving Love Island Games. Lexi put me on. So if y'all haven't watched that, watch it so we can talk about it. But anyways, as I said, let's get on into it. Pretty much I just have this little kit of like tweezers, nail clippers, and my brow stuff. So pretty much I'm gonna go ahead and put these brows. I just kind of do what works for me saying I really don't be doing much but then while I'm at it you always want to apply a serum or something like kind of hydrating by no means am I an esthetician and by all means would I recommend you to go to an esthetician to get this done but because I only do right here I just don't feel like paying <laughs> For my whole face, and I don't need to do my whole face, I just kind of like to get right here because it does get a little bit darker there, kind of like how I, I said. So you could buy these like in multiple packs. I kind of like, I'll use one for a couple times on my brows and then I have one for my sideburn. Literally all I do, go in at an angle and then I just go down and get that little peach fuzz off. While we're kind of like working around the jaw and face and self-care, I kind of wanted to give you guys an update on the Masseter Botox. The first week, absolutely loved it. I loved the way that my jaw didn't hurt no more and that I could eat and I wasn't like clenching in my sleep where I would wake up with like immense pain. Like all of all the issues that I had with my jaw, they were gone. However, the next week, I felt like it was kind of starting to come back. Lex and I both only have 13 units, and I think the max you can get is 24. We've done it in increments, so we weren't getting everything all at once, but I definitely feel like I could go back and increase a little bit again, just because I feel like the first week, perfectly fine, but I don't know if these knockers are bricks or what, but kind of after that, it started to get inflamed and irritated and I was clenching again and all that kind of stuff so I definitely think I'm gonna go back I just kind of wanted to wait like a couple of weeks like four to five weeks kind of give it like a decent duration to see if it kind of worked because I didn't really know like what it would feel like at that point so the next thing I'm gonna do is my brows okay, so I use the men's beard dye my esthetician said to not use this. I don't really have anything else to work with and it doesn't irritate my skin and it lasts a while. So I'm gonna continue to use it even though she doesn't recommend this. When I do this, I'm like mixing potions, like detergent and like your mom's makeup or something and like mix shit up. <laughs> and I think we do like I think we do like dark brown because if you don't close the dye properly, it like brows aren't thick enough to use what it comes with. And I just feel like you can be more precise with this. I always have like a little impending fear that I'm gonna dye them too dark, so pick up a little bit early. The eyebrows are tinted and as you can see they're just like a little bit darker let me know what you think let me know if you would give me any tips on my eyebrows because i'm content with my brows but i'm definitely like not happy and i don't know if they really like fit my face or not okay so this is what i use for red light therapy i actually did like a story set with life pro about this of course i used the product ahead of time and tested it out to see you know if i vibe with it or not it looks like this and I feel like it is very simple for red light masks nowadays. Some of them are like thick and bulky and connected to things. Like this is just like a rechargeable thing. Then you just turn it on 
right here. It has three different settings. So blue is for like acne and like targeting redness. So this is gonna be my preference. And this orange setting, and I've never tried this one before. Um, I'd have to look back at the packaging, but I don't really use this one to be honest. I like red for skin and producing collagen and that kind of thing, but I really have seen a difference. Like I feel like I've had like some skin issues for a while dealing with hormonal acne and everything like that. Using this like a couple times a week, like I feel like my face is looking pretty good right now and my skin's looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna put this on and leave it on my face for probably 15, 20 minutes. Um, and then I'll come back and take it off because I don't think y'all need to sit and see me with a mask, but I'll give y'all a little close up. It's very comfortable. It sits really well on my face. I still have like room to breathe. That's not getting like cloudy or anything here. And you definitely like feel a little like sensation with the light. And then I can literally see perfectly and go about just some like chores and stuff like that while wow. light therapy, which I love. So yeah, I'll check back in in a bit. Okay, so it has been the full 20 minutes. For some reason after, I always feel like I have so much energy. I don't know if it's because like the mask is like stimulating on my face. This is my skin after. I don't know if y'all can tell the difference, but I feel like over a couple of times, I really did see a difference. So let me know if you've ever tried uh, light therapy and how you feel about it. But I definitely think it's interesting and I think it's like new in I feel like I see a lot of people doing it now, so. Now, I'm just gonna put on some eye masks and I'm just gonna sit in bed and read for a little bit because I enjoy it and it's self-care to me. Also probably gonna put on some like background music or like background show. And yeah, that's really all I'm gonna do for the maintenance.